in PlayStation 5. That's what we're doing. Pretty much controlling, making sure that we're running and see how well it works if you get a game on it. And like I said, you could do any game system and it looks really sharp, really well. Um, it's it's more than 60 frames per second, I could tell. But I'm moving left and right. All right, today we're gonna to bring a projector screen and this is a very small projector screen. If you guys can see, if it's, it's, it's pretty much the size of my hand, that's very, and very light. Now, let me show you a couple items that you should be aware, right? It does come with a remote control, all right? You're gonna need two AAA batteries, the manual, they give you uh, analog connections, all right? The old fashioned analog connection. You got the stereo and the yellow one's gonna be the video. And then you got the, HDMI connection, HDMI 2.0, all right? In the back of the projector screen, you have two different speakers, all right? Your power, uh, USB, AV, this is for your analog connections, HDMI, and your IR, and then you have a 3.5 jack connection, and, and that's an IR connection for your remote control because you could do it from the back, and also it has in the front where there's an IR connection here in the front too. Let's talk about the buttons on the top. You got your power, your manual, your back, and okay. You don't really need the controller to navigate. You could use the controllers here in case you lose it. So we have our projector screen covering pretty much the majority of the room. We're gonna try to see the, extend this to the largest part that we can. So let's go ahead and start it up and see how it works. All right, when you first turn it on, it has Android built in. So it's gonna have your favorite items, your YouTube, your Netflix, uh, Spotify, Prime, Facebook, and even uh, even other applications. You could download any application here. And then if you can't see it focus right, you could always hit the button focus. There's a focus button here. Let's see if we can focus, see how unfocused it is. So we want to sharpen it up. And that's pretty much where we're going to sharpen it up. Uh, uh, you might need a little bit more, but you could focus in as much as you want in there. And there's hundreds of different apps that you could download in here. It's all Google based. So um, from YouTube to uh, Netflix, like I said, Spotify, you can play music. Uh, as long as you set up your wireless, all right? Now you could share this on your wireless too. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, your phone. You can share your phone, your uh, laptops and so forth. So on the top where it says, um, right now, if you guys can see, it says home. So we're gonna go home and then we're gonna go to apps. Under apps is where you download uh, applications. So if you have a surveillance camera or anything, you can even download applications and they have a lot of apps that you can download. And then of course, everything is jewelry based, like, based, like I said, videos. Let's go back to videos. Under videos, we don't have anything right now, but it's all sorted, it's sorted out and you could watch your t favorite show you could even watch youtube tv in here and then let's go back up and then music like i said music you could have your all your genres um, your spotify's your other applications that you have and then when you go to settings this is important under settings right on the settings there's always an update and right now we're up to date on this system right there's no new updates that we have um, but under settings is very important. This is what I want you to see. You have your Wi-Fi settings, your Bluetooth, your boot source, your projector, settings, updates, languages, and memory. Memory is because you can hold a lot of videos and movies in here too, and music too. Now under projectors, very important. This is where you have to go and teach the system how to change it. This is to auto focus and auto setup. We could turn that off and then you can manually do your own corners, all right? So if you see that corner over there in the, in the top, you could change it and then you hit okay, it goes to the next corner. This is where you change your keys to actually fit in your, your, mod, your projector into your, into your um, screen, all right? So this is very important. 
because a lot of people don't know about this stuff that you could do manually if it doesn't focus in automatically. And then of course, they have more options. I'm gonna go into more options, four size trapeze. And I like this one. This one actually gives you a little picture exactly how you're gonna be focusing all this stuff, right? So let me get out of here so you guys can see it's a little bit better now. And then we could go back home. You, by hitting the home button on your remote control or hitting the back, and then it goes back to settings. So we're gonna test out 4K right now, a video on YouTube and see how well it looks and how well it sounds. the pixelation on it. Looks wonderful. Look how sharp the, the video looks like. Really sharp. We scored in that game against the, the speakers San Jose are loud. Look at that. Just to see where he's gonna play here, maybe just behind Wayne Rooney. Good speaker. As Manchester United get us underway here from left to right in the first half. Right now we're gonna go ahead and set up our PlayStation 5 onto this. So we're gonna turn it on. And right now it's a 1080 um, display. That's the maximum resolution that we have. We're gonna go ahead and do a test run on this one so you guys can see how it looks. So right now we're running Apex and we're gonna test it out on a shooting round. And see how well it works in the game and how well it looks so the sharp the screen looks sharp on the playstation 5 of course and graphics look good all right look at the size of this one compared to a larger one all right so this one has a lot of power i like the actual interface which is a joy this does not have that um this has the great features that you can use you could take it pretty much anywhere they do give you a mount for in case you have a tripod you want to set it up as um it has the same functions but it's a lot stronger it's smaller uh, i like the features that it has very simple to install easy to use i hope you guys enjoy the video